This Week. Swing and toss yourself freely around spacey jungle gym playgrounds as an acrobatic monkey in this Bananas VR platformer. You've crash landed on a cloud planet, and you'll need to collect parts to repair your ship as you launch yourself around more than 75 playground levels in nine vibrant cloudscape biomes, and rank up to become a toss master, race against the clock, or compete against your friend's leaderboard ghosts. The new Walkabout DLC is just about here. Set to launch September 7th, it takes place in Alfheim, the mystical and beautiful land of the elves. All we have to go by so far is this one image, but new Walkabout courses seldom disappoint. Revealed all the way back in May, the original Fisherman's Tale is finally on PSVR 2. Sure, the resolution could be higher, but it's still a fun little puzzle adventure, and if you already own it on PSVR 1, the upgrade cost is fairly minimal. The next PSVR 1 game to make its way over to PSVR 2 is just about here. The fast-paced 5v5 shooter Albo is headed our way in less than two weeks, with all the progression, maps, and gameplay modes of the original, and at a reasonable price to boot. Expect Albo to launch on September 14th for just 20 bucks, with a $5 upgrade fee if you already own it on PSVR 1. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Speaking of PSVR 1 games coming to our next-gen headset, an updated version of Eric Chahi's Paper Beast will be here soon as well. On September 27th, the puzzle adventure returns with full locomotion, HDR support, and according to Push Square, there will be a small price for upgrading from the PSVR 1 version, but we don't know exactly what that price will be quite yet. The first of many updates for Green Hell launched this week, and while no, it's not the resolution patch that we all want, it does address the one game-breaking bug I experienced during my playthrough, which is a huge step in the right direction. This week, PSVR 2 launch title The Light Brigade got its first massive content update. Entitled The Memories of War, it includes new character classes, new items, new weapons, and probably most importantly, new handcrafted areas to experience between levels. Okay, I know I'm way too excited about the next Galaxy Card update, but check this out. Not only are we getting two brand new tracks, one of which is shown here, but they're also updating it to include in-game voice chat and wheel support, meaning we'll be racing with one hand on the wheel and using a sense controller in the other to shoot weapons with. See, aren't you excited now too? When C Smash VRS released on PSVR 2, it was super light on content and didn't even ship with everything promised. But all that's set to change this month on September 14th when we get a ton of new levels, new music, infinity mode, the long awaited co op mode, and more.
On July 13th, 2022, Serbios announced they were bringing the iconic Alien series into VR. Well, flat screen and VR. But in the last 14 months, they haven't released a trailer, shown off any gameplay, or even revealed a single screenshot. So it was interesting that in a recent episode of the Game Dev Unchained podcast, Serbio CEO Alex Silken calls Aliens VR a spiritual successor to Alien Isolation and said that they hope to create a compelling VR follow-up to that game. Um, uh, I guess uh, sort of a spiritual, well, I think that's a setting a lofty goal, but we are spiritually uh, inspired, I guess, by um, the Alien Isolation game. So we're hoping to create a compelling uh, the virtual reality focused uh, follow up to the game. Now, if you remember when Servios first announced the title, they referred to it as an action horror game. But based on this new description, it seems like maybe they went back to the drawing board to deliver on what quite a few gamers have been asking for. Before I finish this. The beast inside me. I can no longer control. The next big adventure from fast travel games is almost here. Vampire the Masquerade Justice is giving us some massive Dishonored vibes. You're a vampire and you strike from the shadows and drink the blood of both mortal and vampire prey. In a gritty narrative that includes several side missions and dialogue options, explore a dark and mysterious Venice to improve your abilities and set out to become the most powerful vampire. Vampire the Masquerade is set to launch November 2nd. Get ready to experience a platformer shooter like no other in VR. Blast your arm cannon and use guns, melee weapons, grenades, and shields to make your way through the carefully crafted levels with epic bosses and tons of enemies to kill. Wes tells me that this one's commonly referred to as Mega Man in VR, and that sounds exciting as hell to me. survivor of a shipwreck. As the sole survivor of a shipwreck in the 17th century, you must quickly learn to adapt and survive on a mysterious and ruthless island filled with deadly threats and secrets to explore. Bootstrap Island, which is officially planned for PSVR 2, is a ruthless roguelike adventure featuring a dynamic day and night cycle, randomized resources, and consequence-based outcomes to your decisions. What about tomorrow? Every week, our good friend Professor Lilith organizes a multiplayer meetup over on our Discord. It happens every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, and this week we'll be playing No Man's Sky. If you can't make this week's meetup, don't worry, it happens every Sunday at the same time. So make sure you click the link in the description below. Come join our Discord. This week.